Hey, Doc. Yes. Why do you think fasting has become so popular over the last couple of years? If you look at this way, if I tell a person, say, listen, I want you to reduce your calories, there's really no plan to that. You can, you can, yes, you can write a food plan, things like that, but we have emotions. And so therefore, when we start eating, does anybody notice this? That sometimes you'll even say, okay, I'm only gonna have this much food, but then you start eating, it can't stop. <laughs> it's like this, people say, doc, why don't you just have one Oreo? There's a little bit of chemicals, stuff of this, I think your body can handle it, why don't you do it? Because I just wouldn't eat one Oreo. I eat 12. I eat the whole damn box when I talk about 12. Because it's much more difficult that once you get that emotions and feelings from food to sometimes stop. Mm -hmm. You know, has anybody ever here just had ice cream bars they shouldn't have had? And I eat the organic ones. I have one, I'm like, I'll just have another. <laughs> okay. Because so, therefore, I think fasting became popular because it was something that was mentally. Uh, a plan for them to follow, they say, I'm, okay, I'm just gonna skip breakfast. Okay, I'm just gonna skip this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat during these times. But the end result of fasting, and I know it's become kind of like a religion, fasting still accomplishes calorie reduction because they've actually done studies that if you eat the same amount of calories in just a shorter time period, they still do the same weight loss of a person that just divides up through the day. So the end result is I think fasting became popular because it gave people some form of plan of routinely given calorie reduction over the course of time. And that's why I think that um, time restricted eating, which once again, I don't like to call it fasting unless it's over 24 hours. Time restricted eating became popular because now people know to follow a routine that does help. And so um, if that's what you gotta do, um, the only thing is this way, the reason why I'm definitely not a fan of fasting for women is because I can see that there can be some health implications, especially women don't eat enough protein in the first place. So if they're eating one meal a day and they're not getting protein morning night, there can be some hormonal issues and some other blood sugar and cortisol levels that can factor into that. So, but that's a whole nother discussion. Hey everyone, for unedited, full length, unapologetic content, go to my website, drpatrickflynn.com. Hit the subscribe button to join our community for more amazing content like this every day.